Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we will explain a dark fantasy and action animated movie called Dante's Inferno. This video will contain spoilers, so be careful. Now, let's dive right into it. Returning from the Third Crusade, Dante arrives home after three years. He is eager to meet his loved ones, especially his beloved wife Beatrice. However, he is greeted with despair instead. Everything is quiet and gloomy. As he enters his house, he finds that his servants have been slain. His father has been brutally murdered with his organs spilling out. Upon seeing this, Dante runs towards Beatrice's room only to find his beloved fiance Beatrice dying of a stab wound to the stomach. Dante rushes towards her and takes her into his arms. She recalls the day he left. She remembers how Dante swore that he won't commit adultery and accuses him of breaking the oath. Dante protests this claim. However, she can no longer hold on to her life and succumbs to the injuries. As she dies, she becomes a spirit and begins her ascension towards heaven. However, a shadowy figure, which is actually Lucifer, plucks Beatrice from the sky and transports her to Hell's gates. Dante pursues them and chases them to Hell. Dante fights off and slaughters a mob of creatures as he reaches the gates of hell, but it is too late now. His beloved has been taken into the depths of hell. As he sits helplessly outside the gates of hell, he is captured by a score of serpent-like arms which sew a red cross onto his chest and torso, a living tapestry detailing his greatest sins in life. Once the creature leaves him after inflicting such pain, Dante questions why this happened to him. However, he also says that this pain is nothing compared to losing his beloved Beatrice. With that determination in mind, Dante opens the gates of hell and sees the demon alongside his fiance. Before Dante can do anything, the creature drags Beatrice down into the depths of hell, and Dante jumps in to save her. Upon reaching hell, he meets Virgil, the famous Roman poet and author of the Aeneid. Virgil reveals that Beatrice had made a deal with Lucifer in order to bring Dante back home safely. She bet that Dante would never betray her during this period when they were together. However, if she lost the bet, Lucifer could take her soul to reside with him in hell. Dante once again pleads that he never betrayed his beloved fiancé and asks for Virgil's guidance. He agrees to assist him. Dante and Virgil board Charon, a massive, demonic, living fairy that takes souls across the river Acheron to the first circle of hell called Limbo. While they were on their way, a horde of demonic creatures attacks them. Karen commands the demons to attack Dante, as no living being is allowed to enter. Dante fights them off, but loses his sword, and so picks up one of the demon's scythes. This mighty weapon helps him defeat all of these creatures, and eventually he manages to kill Karen as well. Afterward, Dante and Virgil continue their journey toward Limbo. Meanwhile, Beatrice is shown to be suffering. Lucifer uses various visions and attacks to inflict pain upon her. Lucifer says that he would have a lot of fun making her live through a thousand deaths. Virgil and Dante enter Limbo. They find a fetus in the middle of Limbo and wonder how it got there. Here, Dante learns Beatrice was pregnant with his child while he was away, but miscarried. So, the baby they saw was actually their son. The fetus turns to ash in Dante's hand, and a new horde of demons appear. These demons take the form of babies with claws. At first, Dante tries to fight them and even finishes some of them off. However, they keep growing, and suddenly Dante is surrounded by these demonic babies. Attacked by these demonic children, he and Virgil escape into a large building. They enter a hall of great rulers, philosophers, and thinkers, including Aristotle, Plato, Socrates, and Saladin, whose forces Dante had battled during his crusade. Moving on, they enter King Minos' room, whose task is to send condemned souls to their sins corresponding circle of hell. He denies Dante's entry. Now, there's only one way. Dante must defeat King Minos to reach the final circle of hell. The warrior rips Minos apart with his lethal scythe, and when the king bends down to fight back, Dante cuts off his arm, causing him to have his head ripped apart by the thorny wheel that he used to make his judgments. After King Minos was thoroughly degraded, the convicts take advantage of the situation to try to escape. Dante follows the path until he reaches the second circle of hell. This circle is full of the souls of people who have given in to their lusty desires. On the storm-ravaged shores of the second circle, the island of lust, bodies fly through the wind, intertwined, caught in a never-ending storm of passion. Hearing Beatrice's cries in the distance, Dante enters a room of succubi who transform into hideous demons. They attack him as they fail to seduce him, 
but Dante manages to defeat them. However, he realizes that he did break his promise to Beatrice. He reveals to Virgil that during the crusade, an imprisoned heretic woman offered to sleep with him after Dante refused to stop his guards from beating her husband to death. Under the illusion that he was absolved of all sin by a priest, he agreed to the deal. He called off his guards from killing the man and spent the night with her. Upon hearing this, Beatrice begins to lose faith, but still refuses Lucifer's offer of his hand in marriage. The pair come to a grotto where men and women who had lived their lives in gluttony are tortured by starvation. Many are caught and devoured by Cerberus, the great hound of hell. Virgil tells Dante the only way to the next circle is from within the beast, so Dante allows himself to be eaten. He encounters Chiaco, a man from his village who confesses to gluttony. He begs Dante to help him. With the power of his cross, he tells him to be free and blesses him with the cross. Chaco's spirit floats skyward. Just then, a shadow of Lucifer appears to torment Dante and later shows him a glimpse of his father's memory, stuffing himself with food while a disgusted and famished Beatrice watches. He reveals that Dante's father is also suffering in hell. He keeps walking inside Cerberus's body and discovers its heart. Dante attacks and destroys the hound's heart with his scythe to escape its body. Floating down into the fourth circle, Dante and Virgil meet men and women who wasted their lives in pursuit of material possessions. The condemned souls are tortured by being sheared in money presses, boiled in melted gold, and buried in enormous mounds of coins. Here, Dante confronts his father, who now looks like a disgusting creature. He remembers how greedy his father actually was. He recalls once his father suspected his mother of stealing a single coin and he brutally assaulted her, eventually leading to her death. Dante's father reveals that he has been promised a thousand years free of torture and endless gold to murder his own son. Dante tries to reason with him at first, but he doesn't listen to him. The pair battle and trade barbs with each other. Dante throws his scythe towards him, but his father dodges. Now Dante is unarmed, so he must fight carefully. He manages to bring his father to the edge of the molten gold pit and kicks him into a vat of boiling gold. Proceeding through the fifth circle of hell, Wrath, Dante is grabbed by swarms of arms and hands. He then has a flashback to when the prisoners demanded and begged for food. Dante becomes overwhelmed with with anger and decides that heretics' lives are not worth more than Christians. Virgil and Dante come to the river Styx, where spirits are fighting in the shallow, murky waters. They make their way to the city of Dis and climb aboard Phlegius, a demonic giant who traverses the river. Among the wrathful souls, Dante recognizes Filippo Argenti, who taunts him only to be brought down by other wrathful spirits. Dante sees Lucifer in the city of Dis. He announces to the city's damned souls his intent to marry Beatrice. Dante urges Phlegius to run and chase after Lucifer, only to have Lucifer strike Phlegius down, forcing Dante to disembark. Lucifer again travels down the depths of hell alongside Beatrice. Dante must follow him. In the sixth circle of hell, heretics forever burn in fire and are tortured. Dante meets his rival, Farinata, who taunts him, revealing Lucifer's plan to wed Beatrice and leave him trapped in hell forever. Dante angrily kills Farinata by piercing his eye with his cross, and with Virgil, flees the circle before it collapses from quakes caused by the force of Christ's death. In the seventh circle, they meet the Minotaur, who guards the sixth and seventh circles. Dante manages to dodge all of his attacks and defeats him with his finishing blow. At last, they manage to cross into the seventh circle. The centaur Nessus helps them cross a river where many souls of the violent are boiling in the blood of their victims. Entering the forest of self-harm, Dante hears a familiar cry and finds his mother growing from the sapling of a tree, forever in pain for hanging herself, rather than standing up against or leaving her husband, Dante's father. Believing she had died of a fever, Dante is overwhelmed with sorrow. He uses his cross to free her soul. They come to a graveyard within the abominable sands. Dante's one-time crusader comrades, including his friend Francesco, rise from the grave as undead warriors, condemned for committing acts of violence in the name of God. Dante is surprised to see his companions in this place. He thought that they were fighting in a holy war. However, Francesco reveals that the priest who sent them to battle lied to them as God doesn't tolerate mindless violence. Francesco marches towards Dante with his sword drawn and attacks him. Dante has no choice but to defend himself. He first cuts Francesco's sword in half 
and then splits his head into two by using his scythe. After defeating Francesco, he remembers that he himself had slaughtered several heretics. Dante then prays to God that Francesco is given a chance to redeem himself. After being carried by the Geryon to the realm of fraud, Virgil parts ways with Dante, advising him to cross a series of bridges to stop Beatrice from marrying Lucifer. Dante must hurry towards the final circle. He defeats many demons along the way. Dante begins to reflect upon his own sins. He realizes his father, family servants, and Beatrice were slain by the husband of the woman whom he had raped. Beatrice is overcome by sorrow at Dante's betrayal. She weds Lucifer and becomes a demon. Beatrice proceeds to attack Dante, overpowering him and forcing him to look into the ninth circle of treachery, where he sees his greatest sin, allowing her brother to take the blame for his slaughter of the heretic prisoners. Overwhelmed with grief, Dante gives Beatrice her cross, which he had promised to restore to her upon his return from the crusade. He begs for forgiveness and pleads with her to once again accept the love of God. She forgives him and returns to her previous angelic form as she kisses him. An angel descends from heaven to take her. Beatrice promises they will be together soon, but in order to escape hell, he will need to face Lucifer alone, for he guards Dante's only escape route out of hell. Wandering in the caverns of the final circle, Dante traverses through the dark, cold realm searching for a pathway that leads to Lucifer. He meets up with a female soul who tells him that Lucifer resides in the very center of Judeca. He also comes across three giants of legend, Nimrod, Ephialtes, and Antaeus. Dante comes across a cave filled with huge frozen chains. He mows through them, only to find that he has freed a three-faced demon which appears to be Lucifer's corporeal form. Dante slays the beast and moves towards Towards purgatory where his salvation awaits. Lucifer, however, reveals his true corporeal form and easily overpowers Dante. He brags that many heroes, including Ulysses, Alexander, Attila, and Lancelot, had tried to kill him. Still, none had a soul black enough to allow Lucifer to free himself. He explains that Beatrice was merely bait to lure Dante into hell to free him from his prison. Lucifer vows to enter purgatory and paradise and to rend heaven into a new and greater hell. Dante again begins his attacks, tries his best but fails to harm the demon of hell. He realizes he cannot stop Lucifer on his own. He prays, repents, and begs for divine forgiveness. As Lucifer tries to stop him from making this pact, an explosive beam of light emanates from Dante, and Lucifer is frozen solid. Dante dives into the portal that leads through the earth to Purgatory to be with Beatrice, now neither completely living nor completely dead. He rips off the cross sewn onto his chest to free himself from those sins and continues his journey. Later that night, the flesh emblem of sin he ripped off his chest transforms into a serpent, supposedly Lucifer waiting to get his revenge, which slithers away into the dark. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. We will see you in the next video.